Hello everybody and welcome back to my time at Porsche. Hello Pinky. Meow. I'm going to pet all my animals today. That never happens. Well, we'll see. We'll see. My lumbar support slipped down. Ah, no good. No good. There we are. I need to get closer to the mic now. There. Perfect. You'd think I'd get comfy before I started recording, but no. I've been sat in this chair for ages. I'm still not comfy. How's that? Hello, Scraps. And this stops time, so it shouldn't take too long. I love having like a cat and a dog, and they somehow don't fight. I imagine if a dog came home, like, to our house, Tilly would probably move out. Tilly once moved out of my sister's house because they had another cat. Tilly thinks she's human. She only socialises with humans. That's what it is. Okay, it's Sunday, so that is not a day. Do you know what? I'm starting to like the look of this, you know that? I do, I like this. That's nice. I just need to get used to where my animals are, I think, honestly. Well, a few bits of fence to fix. I don't know, do we have any more fence pieces or did I run out? Is that why I haven't fixed them? I think I ran out and that's why I haven't fixed them. That's fine. Okay, so let me pop away some of my relics. I kind of feel like I need to make one of these boxes like relics too. Do you know what? We should go and rename that. I think, I think we should go rename it. So let's go up to the balcony and mess around with all the boxes up there. Yee! And then I'll maybe buy those last few little fence posts, but at the moment these are all kind of in the wrong place. So I'm going to just move them all back a little bit if I can. Oh no! Oh good grief! Well, they've changed things around here. So I can't actually put the, the boxes down in... I think that needs to be fixed, devs, if you're watching. Um, like, seriously? You're giving me all this extra balcony space, but I can't put my boxes down there. I mean, what's the point in that? The whole point of this balcony is to stick all your boxes away and never look at them ag ever again in your life. That's the whole point. So one of these safety boxes uh, needs to be changed. The name needs to be changed to Relic 2. And I'll basically always do a sort all. Um, and then anything that's left over will probably need to go into Relic 2. Oh, I put all my bars in there and not renamed it. Silly Sheila, I've already meant to do that. Okay, so well that one needs to be bars then, metal bars. I need to find the other, um, is that empty, that one? That one's got some miscellaneous bits and relics in it already, so that's clearly the one I meant. The relics, so... Open. Relics too. They don't need to be in much of an order, to be honest. Uh, I was very careful at keeping things in order and relabeling them and blah, blah, blah. And then they went and changed all the, the ordering system. And now I just use one box down below to link into these up here. I have one miscellaneous one. Unlike what some people think. couple of tiny ones, um, but they tend to have things in like clothes, so although I do feel that my clothes box probably needs to be upgraded. Not sure why I put... Oh, here, here it is. This is the bug with the house. It's on my balcony. Oh, 
Yeah, they apparently need to do a, actually, I think they probably know about the problems then because uh, they were mentioning that they needed to do a fix. So just move the box from underneath it and it, it, they can just stay like that. That's not too bad. What's in this wooden storage? Nothing. So that could just be taken away. Sold or something. So that's my storage, basically. That cooking pot is in there because of a bug. You can't actually use it or anything. It's a bit weird. Can't move it, can't use it. It just is there. But they did mention that in one of the hot fixes that they can't actually fix that yet because it's a big problem with the house upgrade. So, don't blame me for that being there. But that looks a lot tidier now up there and I've labeled the boxes that I need to label for the relics, which is great. I do also need to make a another soldier. Got soldier with scepter there. I can still do a couple of soldiers with axe. Um, nearly a soldier with blade. And a couple of pieces short and another soldier with scepter, so... Still need to do a little bit of digging to get that full, uh, full attack bonus in my house. Okay, so I think, Mr. Soldier, you're going to go in my study room. Like here. You can have a friend next to you maybe as well. So this now means that my attack bonus for the house is up to... Da, 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 da. 56 out of 120. So still got another 60. So another six of those guys to go. I've got two more that I can make and four more to find in that case. So another couple of goes in the, in the ruins. But I don't do the ruins all the time just because. Now, one thing I wanted to do today... Just because, again, another just because, just because I can. I feel like this layout doesn't have a good flow to it though. Like when I come out of my house, I should be able to go to all the places I need to go, but they're all blocked off. So I feel like that kind of needs to be fixed somehow and I'm not sure how. Will probably involve rearranging my whole yard all over again. So what I wanted to do today, I'll have a look in case there's any like random quests have popped up or anything like that. The only the only real quest I'm getting at the moment though, I think, is uh, just from, from Gust really. But what I want to do is pop down to the harbour, and I want to go on the boat and explore uh, somewhere that I haven't explored before, which is Starlight Island. Pretty sure I haven't been there. trying to look uh, I don't have a, a laptop at the moment and with going away I kind of want one so I was looking online and I was like oh okay maybe get one for like 100 pounds or so wouldn't be too bad wouldn't be too pricey and and then you realize that all of the laptops that you're looking at have absolute pants uh stats on them like you, you just you're like oh two gig of ram well that won't run anything Need at least four, so you're like, oh, okay, so I probably want about 64 gig of storage at least, really, on a laptop. Oh, so now everything's 200 pounds instead of 100 pounds. Yay! It's terrible. Let's proceed to Starlight Island. On the boat. Oh, that's so cute. That's my thumbnail sorted. So we've got the, the ruins here, but I don't think I'll be able to go in them at the moment. Obviously, because we already did that bit. The boat over there looking all fancy. I will probably just use that cutscene with me riding away on the boat for my... Wow, it's nice over here. Really nice. Why didn't I come here before? Oh, there's stuff I can gather. What's that? It's coral. Okay. Well, that's new. 
Again, it's like gathering things for no particular reason, though. I think you're supposed to be able to get coconuts over here as well as coral, though. But yeah, I just figured I haven't really been over here yet. I know it might be a nice place to go and just pick up some coral and stuff. And then maybe we'll do a date with Dr. Zhu tomorrow or something. Ah. Uh... It's a very different landscape over here, though, isn't it? Can we see Portia from here? Where would Portia be? Where am I compared to where Portia is? It would be off the south coast. Oh, you get a whole new map for Starlight Island. That's interesting. That is interesting. Do you know why that's interesting? Because that means they could add all sorts of extra places that are not on the map. Because they've pretty much finished the main map at this point. And it just means that they could add loads of extra stuff. Oh, that might be a coconut. Look. Coconuts. You a coconut? Oh, gonna. So other than the ruin over here, that's all you can pretty much do. Collect coconuts. That mushroom's over there. Wouldn't mind picking up some mushrooms. Ah, they're not gatherable. What a shame. Maybe they're poisonous ones. No, it's a bit of a tropical climate going on over here. Anything else interesting looking on here? Just the ruin, the docks. We'll just run back around to the boat, I guess. I just figured it was a thing I hadn't done, so I may as well give it a little explore. I may as well also look at the calendar and see whose birthday it is, which is Sophie's. Let's go give Sophie a birthday present today as well. Get back on that boat. I might miss it, because it might take me time. The thing with Starlight Island as well is you've got to run by run by foot rather than by horse. I'm so spoiled. Thing is, I probably have a bucket in my inventory, so if I can if I can just get back and find Sophie, but after six o'clock, sometimes it's a bit dicey. That is a lovely scene. So pretty. Starlight Island is a really pretty part of Portia. Okay, little horse horse. Let's go back. See if we can find Sophie. With her presence. That was a super quick day, wasn't it? Like, the day's like practically over. I wonder if you go too late if you get stuck there. Okay, so Sophie might still be out in the fields. So we might be able to find her there, or she might have gone inside, and I don't know whether I'll be able to go into the farm after 6pm. I don't think I can, though. Not the end of the world. It just means I need to give her three buckets to, to make up for the missed birthday bucket. I'm not seeing her. Yeah, oh, 7 o'clock. I think people need to be open way later. Way later. Can I see Sophie? Sophie's not my friend. Only my friends apparently show up on this. So I don't think I'll be able to see her. QQ, Papa Bear and somebody else is over there. There's some Gust is down there. McDonald's over there. You know, Sophie is an old lady, so... I did remember her birthday, I just didn't quite uh, manage to find her in time. Which is very sad. But like I say, she's probably inside. Okay, who's the next birthday? Papa Bear, next episode. Yay yay, probably the episode after, after. Carol is like my BFF, so I don't even need to know her birthday, actually. Oaks would be useful, though. Gust would be useful. They're all coming up. Might as well give Gust a present anyway, you know, because he's my mate. Hello. I've got Coral. 
Look at my coral. It's cool, isn't it? The materials my father got me, they came from you, right? Really like to be nosy, hmm? Ooh. Ooh! Hey, hey, come back, come back, come back, come back, come back. Uh, would you like... I think I gave you all the books I have at the moment, so would you like a bacon fish roll? You've chosen them wisely this time. I am confused whether it's bacon and fish or it's bacon. It's like a fish is bread to taste like bacon. I'm not really sure. Back to my access box. Sorting everything out. Right, I'm going to need my ingredients chest open now, I think. Oh, phew. I thought I'd lost everything, but no, I, I have ingredients still. That's fine. Phew, because we've got ingredients one and ingredients two. I don't know if that goes in ingredients. So that could maybe go in farming, actually. Well, the coconuts will go in ingredients. Okay, so the wood chest would be for the resin there. Do, do I still have wood in not in a safety box? That's crazy, right? That needs to be in a safety box. But stone and sand, that's the same. They're getting really full, so they need to be upgraded, I think. That's why I've got loads of stuff left over in my inventory. Um, gems. Although those sapphires are doing really well as presents, so I kind of want to leave them in my inventory as well. So those, the farming is completely full as well. And those should all be in healing anyway. They're herbs. Yeah. Just right click, she lab. Just right click. What are you doing? Don't know what I'm doing. Shush. That should be in miscellaneous. That should be in the helper chest. That is hardened clay. Mm, okay, that can stay there, I guess. Probably stone and sand would be better for that one, though. And then I can actually put things back like... Well, I'll keep the caterpillars on me for fishing. Uh, bug eggs, though. Fabric chest for these. Oh, all the fibres taking up the whole fabric chest. Yep. I'm just not using stuff enough. That's my problem. I've got more income than than what I'm actually using and selling. I could sell things if I wanted, I guess. That would be boring. Let's go back to healing, because I did have a healing chest somewhere. Let's go over to the helper chest. Well, I should be able to actually access that from there anyway, but... Um, go to the helper chest, and I'm going to pop in there. I've got 408 storage boxes, just in case I need to store some more stuff. Some more apples. Are those aroma apples? Wow. They are as well. Again, they're amazing presents. Okay, then we're going to go and make some storage boxes. Some nice big storage boxes. Oh, look, my soldier's done. Cool. Let's uh, make another one. Okay, storage boxes. Make 15 of them. I need to make probably about four, I think. And then we'll go up and we'll 
change out some of the smaller boxes and sell them. Change them out for the big safety boxes. Cooked food isn't too bad at the moment. Clothing box needs to be a bigger box. Healing needs to be... Healing is okay, actually. Ingredients is kind of okay. Stone. Farming. Fabric. All need to be changed. So we'll just start putting them around this way. I'll probably move them in a minute, but at the moment I'll just put them here. Okay, so you are now called wood. You are stone and sand too. This is just so when I'm looking at the drop downs, I can actually see what they are. You Wood two. No, we did wood two already, didn't we? Yeah, wood. Oh, fabric. Fabric two. Fabric two. Okay, so now what I want to do is pop into one of these boxes and I want to go to say something like fabric and take all the fabric items out of it. Yeah, I've still got a whole space left. All sorts of random stuff in there that I shouldn't have in there as well. And again, it's probably because things maybe need to be split up a bit more. I mean, I might eventually have a whole chest of fibre. There's no reason not to. I can have as many chests as I want, so... Right, so stone and sand. I want to be in fabric too. Snake skin, isn't it? Yeah, that, that would definitely go in there. Yeah, that fabric. That's so weird. By the time I'd uh, actually got rid of all the stuff that shouldn't have been in there, I actually had enough fabric left. Oh no, here we are. Enough space left for all the fabric that was in there. Ridiculous. Now, that old fabric chest can now be renamed to clothing. Clothing 2. And then I will move all the clothing stuff into there. So, let me... That's a tiny little box. And I'm getting a lot of... A lot... It's a lot of stuff that it doesn't realise. I I had clearly. Right, stick all that into clothing too. So we've actually got a whole box full of clothing there. Okay, I think that's good. Next, I want... Uh, the farming chest is actually okay as long as it doesn't have junk, too much junk in it. So I'm happy with that. The healing chest is fine. Take that clothing chest away. Because that's not needed anymore. Ooh, 
cobbled stone fabric and a spare. Cool. Next thing I want to have a look through quickly is uh, the miscellaneous one because I've put loads of relics in there and I would rather not have them in there. So how about we have... I mean, most of it is either clothing or furniture. So I could rename it furniture. Don't know where I'd put all my fireworks though. All those fish need to be in the ingredients chest. But there wasn't room for it. All those relics need to be in one of my relic chests. Golden ring, llama traps, my my moonlight primrose from Dr. Zhu. Oh, so sweet. Makes me, it, it, it does make me remember every time I see it. So let's do a sort all first, just in case some of those relics would go. Let's go to ingredients one and put all the fish in there. Relics, probably two. We'll have some space as well. Take that umbrella out of there because that's not a relic. The nice thing about organising all of this is that I know it'll pretty much stay organised once I've done it. Clothing. Oh, relics, two. Those three. Uh, miscellaneous for all the books and random roses and things like that. What? So much crazy stuff that it just gives you. I missed the clothing. Looking at the rest of it, could probably... Creamy salmon stew, I don't know who likes that as a present, so I'm going to put that into cooked food. A lot of my cooked food seems to stay out, but... A lot of it is people's favourite stuff, so... Apparently Mars really likes his bubble fish soup, so I'm going to try and give him some of that later as well. So, this... One. Snowman, uh, I think someone likes the photo album, I just can't remember who. I don't need Django tokens anymore because I bought all the books that I wanted from there. The reason I had them out was to finish off the museum. I do want data discs and caterpillars though because they're good for fishing and if Petra wants anything. Uh, I'll stick that umbrella away as well. Spare cooking thing. Flower stands. All those things that have just come out of my yard and I've not really found a place for yet. Healing bandages. can go back in healing. Don't need those. All bearings are to sell, mechanical parts for those steel. And those, those are good gifts. Pigment, um, those are to sell as well. Okay, wood chest, wood chest. Stone and sand chest. A lot of these things are being taken out out of their chest in their entirety, and that's the reason that they're sticking around. Fabric. Stone and sand. Farming.
Okay, now we're just down to one page worth of stuff. Which is decent. The other thing I could do is I do have a... Uh, did I not have a weapons one as well? Oh, okay. There's a load of stuff in this access chest that should be in other places as well. Typical. I'm going to put all these weapons in there. Except for the gun. I'm going to maybe try and work out how to use that. And maybe take it into one of the, the ruins or something. And go have a go with it. Classic fishing rod, not needed. Master fishing rod, needed. Clothing, that one. Miscellaneous. Little bits of furniture. Street lamps, fishing things. Planters. Probably sell those planters, actually. Fossil replica from inspections. Interesting. Okay, that's a pretty neat and nice inventory now. That's that's all right actually. Let's go put our other soldier in our house. I think I've got another one already. Oh no, he'll be a couple of hours. Okay, go pop this one away, and then I'm probably gonna go to bed. We'll find Dr. Zhu in the morning and take him on a date, I think. But that'll be next episode, we'll take him on the date. You guys can go in a pair. An axe and a scepter. Oh, that looks nice, actually. That's that's really sweet. Oh, just want to have a look at my calendar, see what's going on tomorrow. So tomorrow will be the first day of summer. Very nice. Uh, Abu's birthday will be the next episode. The martial arts tournament will be in a few episodes of time, but we'll do a little bit of dating and stuff before then. Maybe we'll get some more uh, of Gust's like, storyline. And as they add in more storyline, I've got quite good um, social with everybody, as you can see. Erwa's nearly my BFF. Oh, we'll have to give Erwa something tomorrow to make him my BFF. Same with Phyllis. I reckon I could get them both to BFF status tomorrow. I reckon I could get Albert to best friend status if I take him one of those, um, take him a present as well. So we'll do a few presents in the morning, I reckon. I'm gonna go to bed though. Oops. Night, everybody. Shelab is taking care of her health now. She's uh she's she's an old lady. Like she's been play she's been here for seven years. She must be getting old by now, right? Soldier with axe. Oh no, we don't have any more pieces for soldier with axe. Or a soldier with scepter. Or a soldier with blade, or a soldier with Oh no! Okay, I'm gonna go make myself one of those nice Asteria pots for for Albert. Oh, I don't have enough Asteria for it. No! Whisper, we must go to the desert. You and me on a whirlwind adventure. I know you're not a donkey, but it doesn't matter. I'm not Shrek either. So... Oh, oh, well, I, I have a gift for you. I don't really want to go out on a date right now, but... A little bit of extra relationship with all the Hulus never hurts. Ooh. What? What do you mean, number two? Oh, that Higgins bug. The Higgins bug is in. There is a a, a system where, um, at the moment, Higgins is getting super points. Whoa. Yeah, they need to, to rein that in. 
I've been doing, I have been doing my commissions fairly regularly and he has absolutely blasted me, so. Yeah, Higgins, you need to slow down, mate. But yeah, I, I have heard a lot of other people complaining about how much Higgins is getting in the way of workshop points every day. It's like impossible for me to, to compete with though, so. Need to sort it out, devs. Otherwise people will be so frustrated. So the next person I want to give a present to today is Phyllis because I think that I can make her my BFF as well and I want to also give maybe Papa Bear an apple because I have a lot of apples all of a sudden from my one apple tree. I don't know how that one apple tree has given me so many apples but... Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm annoyed by that. I'm used to getting first place. <gasps> I did still get some foie gras though, I think. A magnetic bracelet. All right, well today, you're gonna get one of these. Oh, no need to get you the magnetic bracelet then. And extra 10 with Dr. Zhu, which is amazing. I don't know where he is today. Okay, so. Lots of people that I don't need to do anything with. Maya Gale will be my next best friend. Oh yeah, I wanted to get Albert to be to be a best friend as well. Lua is close as well, so we could make some more glasses for him. I think I have an arm stretcher like in my inventory for Arlo, and I just didn't even give him one. He was right, he was stood like right outside my place as well. Wonder how long they stand there for. Oh, a little while, that's cool. And uh, I could give Emily something, an egg or something. She likes eggs. Almost certainly had arm stretches for you. Yes, there we are. And Emily, when we don't have pumpkin pies, we will give out eggs. I mean, the thing is, it's just been spring, so Emily, so uh, Sophie would have been selling them the whole time, and I was like, oh, I've got no pumpkin pies left. That was a bit silly, wasn't it? But we do have a lot of eggs, so... Be the ingredients too, maybe? Yeah, we're not going to run out of those, so that's cool. Let's go and see what my surprise of the... Surprise of the day was. I got a chair! <laughs> Woo! Yeah, more to the point. Did I get any foie gras for that? No. No foie gras for me. Hig that Higgins is too good. Higgins sucks. Right, let, let me go and see about uh, the sale prices as well. Oh no, come back Emily, I have an egg for you. That's perfectly okay. Okay, let's go. I reckon if I give um, Albert an Asteria pot, he will be very close to being a best friend with me. So let's go and see if we can find some Asteria across in the desert. I know where to find these things, it's just that, that it's hard. To go all the way over here just to collect little flowers. I'm gathering the dragon flowers and the strawberries and things like that just in case next patch there's something to do with them. You never know. I only actually needed one, but if I could get four, I could make a second one for him. I used to have loads of hysteria. Oh, 
probably use it all up making those pots. Don't really want to fight the crabs or anything. There we are, there's a fourth one. And a fifth one. So I could be really annoyed that I've got one left over later. Yay! No, I don't want to go there. I want to go there. Okay, so. Oh, Mr. Mint. I'm going to get you some flowers today. From Alice, who I will give a necklace to. Oh, Alice is my good friend now. Yay! Yeehaw! Okay, go give those roses to Mint. And then make a, a stereo pot for Albert, who seems to be heading off for his lunch right now. I am very nice. Oh, I seem to have 12 Asteria. Oh, there must be more than one per pickup. Yes, very nice. I always expect Lara to be moving around. I don't know what I'm doing there. I need to be in this one. I don't know why I run over there all the time. That's because it used to be in that position, probably. I can make four pots of Asteria. Fantastic. I'll keep me going for a little while with Mr. Albert there. Yay, best friend. BFFs. No, not quite yet. Just best friends. I only have like six BFFs. And then I want to try and find the good doctor. I don't know if he's maybe up in the surgery by now. Let's see if we can find him on the map. Not seeing him about about the place so I'm gonna go up to the surgery and see if he's up there the clinic hey Dr. Zoo okay so I want to give you a meat and mushroom stew and ask you out for a date next time at uh, my workshop and we're gonna go on a balloon ride that's gonna happen next time and then I better go and do my commission so that I can beat Higgins again I don't think that's gonna happen I don't think I can physically get enough points to beat the man that's ridiculous but like I say I'm not the only one that's been complaining about that so it's just that now was when I happened to notice it. Gust and QQ, I have gifts for you too. Woohoo! Gust is my friend. Extra 15 with ginger. That's amazing. That might be the way forward to actually um, get ginger to like me a couple of stars at least so I can start taking her on dates. It's going to be to just give Gust and Maya Gale loads of presents to start with. Balunk, balunk, balunk. Let me check on QQ's love for me. QQ is my buddy. Toady is the only one that is not my buddy. I need to find him and uh, give him a present so he can at least be my buddy. Don't know where he is though. Russo, I've got some sapphires for you. I know you prefer, like, 
things that I've actually properly bothered to make, but I'd rather give you something that gives you six points every day than not, you know. Okay, so let's pop on down here and see Mr. Papa Bear. And give him one of these aroma apples, which was so hard to come by before and don't seem so difficult now. We'll come back tomorrow to give him his birthday present as well. So yeah. he is getting there. Ooh, I just noticed something. If I give Ye Ye some uh, flowers next time, I won't be able to give them to her today because I don't have any at the moment. But if I give her some roses next time, she will be a good friend. And that will give me some more... Uh, Hulu points. The Hulus are really cool to be able to get up to being good friends with because the social networking, like before, they weren't, they didn't really give you too many um, bonuses for being friends with them. So it's like, mm, but it's so easy because they all just kind of network with each other and, and tell each other good things about you, and then then that's really awesome. Right, sort all. Right, let's go and have a look at Sonia's shop and see what the sale prices are like today. Give me a gala table. Give scraps some bacon fish rolls. I'm going through those quite, quite at some rate, aren't I? 104, that's not too bad. Could do a bit of selling at 200, uh, 104. I sell my bull bearings and stuff. I mean, to be honest, it's probably, there's probably loads more stuff being made in my factory right now. I should go and check on my factory as well, actually. Right, so you will take my conductive wooden floors. 19,000's worth. You'll take all my storage boxes for 5,000. My multi-purpose tea tables. Were they a present for someone or was I just making those? I think I was just making them. Won't take the ball bearings off me though. Oh, that's fine. I'll go sell the ball bearings elsewhere. Paulie will take some of them, and I think Mars will take any leftovers. So Paulie now has no money left. And I have pretty pretty much wiped out a lot of Mars's inventory as well. Uh, that's fine though. I like that he now sells like tin and copper as well, so I could just buy that if I needed to. If I had, if I had a, if I had a, uh, a ridiculous surplus of something and I needed something else, I could kind of. He sells the Nova Sword. Wow. Just in case you accidentally sell yours or lose it or something. Umbrella hats, extra defense. Umbrella hat with a sharp tip. Sounds dangerous, honestly. A dragonfly one. I don't know, I don't really like the umbrella hats, though. They're a bit weird, aren't they? Right, Dolly, I have a present for you. I don't know if I have one for Molly, though. I always have these. Do I have fruit tarts? No, I need to go and get, um... Need to go get old uh, Ack to make me some more fruit tarts for you. Jack, I probably have some lemonade for you though.
Hi, Mars, I want to try out giving you some bubble fish soup because people told me that you really like it. Mm, no, you yeah, don't. Maybe I got that back to front. It's probably someone else. Martha, you like feather dusters. So how are things looking now? Yeah, it looks like Lua will be a good friend soon. Uh, Emily is a great friend. Yeah, yeah, will be the next one to kind of pop over a, a, a social limit, a social category. Ah, oh, Lucy, I could probably give you some presents though. And then I'm going to head to the mines and just dig for the rest of the episode. Give Isaac a tea table on the way. Gifting episodes are always really long because it, time stops when I'm in my inventory. Okay, let's have a look and see what kind of relics we can find. Because to be honest, there's quite a few that would be really useful. Soldier with lance and soldier with axe. And then I need to go let Tilly in. She's been out for about an hour, an hour and a half. And it's really windy outside. So unless I've let her in, I need to go and check on her very soon. She hates wind. She hates being outside of the wind. She just goes to the toilet and then comes back and hides under the car. And then she just wants to play for the whole rest of the evening because she's not had outside playtime. Because she's too scared. It's really sad. Unfortunately, I don't really have time to spend hours playing with a cat and then spend hours playing with ferrets as well. So really, she does need to go outside and kind of amuse herself a little bit, but... Mm. I do what I need to for my animals. Sometimes when all my videos are up really late, it's because I had to play with Tilly. It's just the way of the world. The way of the Sheila world. Animals are important. They are our important friends and we need to take care of them. Because they give us lots of love in return. Okay, so let's uh, see what else we've got. It's one of the one of the things I wish I owned my own house for is that we're not really allowed to put a, um, a cat flap in for Tilly in this house. Whereas if I owned my own house, we would put a cat flap in. So we'll do a set to piece three. And if I go home, uh, once I found a few little bits of relics, I'll be able to see if we manage to actually get a full soldier out of it. I don't know, I might just get it really into searching for them and and not do that. Uh, okay, nothing that side. Nothing on that side. Nothing on that side. Soldier with blade piece three. That'll do me. Oh, I found a large iron bucket. I'll give that to Ak, he'll probably like that. I 
think he prefers iron pans, though. Been a long time in this game since I've run out of stamina. Oh, I haven't done my commission. Oops. This is why Higgins is beating me. I need to get more competitive. Uh, performance model. Soldier accept to piece four. Well, you'll do. And once I've got this piece, I'll see. I'll go home and I'll see if I can uh, put any of them together. Otherwise, I'm not going to have time to do it. And I'll see if I can put the three waterproof lamps together overnight as well. Although I've got a feeling that they require something that I'll need to go and get. I'm not sure. Hey, Whisper Woo. Okay, so uh, let's have a quick look. Soldier with scepter, no. Soldier with axe, not quite. Soldier with blade, no. Soldier with lance, no. So we didn't manage to put a full soldier together. That doesn't mean that we won't do next time. And let's have a look at these waterproof lamps. Are they something that... I can't remember whether they're assembly table things or workbench things. Oh, I might be thinking of the navigation light. Let's have a look here, see if we can get waterproof lamps in here. It'll sh soon show me in this bit. Yeah, I can make two of them because I'm missing a piece of strength in the glass. I'm sure that I could make strength in glass. Maybe I do have to smelt it nowadays. How many am I how many am I sure? I only need one more. Okay, one piece of strength and glass, and then I'll be able to make those first thing in the morning. Let's have a look in this factory. I haven't been in the factory in ages. It's probably full of stuff. Copper bars, because that's what I need. I need more copper bars, totally. Well, if that's going to be something that will come up quite often and, and stuff, then it might be worth smelting together a bit of strength and glass, actually. Ooh, I need sand. Let's make like five of them to start with, and then I can mess around with it later. But oh, I've got 3,000 sand. That's okay then. That's fine. So that'll be done in about an hour. So I might, I might have time. I think I'll probably leave it to the morning though. I think I'll pop to bed now. You've done plenty of stuff, plenty of gift giving and things like that. You know, I said at the beginning of the episode that I would pet all of my animals. Well, I lied. <laughs> I think you guys that know me probably know that that's a thing. Alright, I'll, pe I'll pet Pinky. Just for the end of the episode, okay? And then I'm going to marry someone who's going to pet all my animals for me, right? Uh, maybe Doctor you and I should get married so he could pet all my animals. Or maybe I should marry someone else. I'm still not sure. I mean, I like the good doctor's work ethic. He, he's a nice looking chap. You know, Paulie was kind of my first my first love in this one. He was the first man that I got to know well. Arlo is, is he's very honorable as well. So there we are, that's the end of the episode. So I hope you enjoyed it. I'm off to watch Doctor Who now. Yay! Um, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed it and if you did then please do leave me a like below if you'd like to see more my time at Porsche please subscribe and I will let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time in the meantime though please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.